Hey everybody, Dr. Alex here from Practice Domination and welcome to another episode of 60 Second Studies. Today I want to talk about the two ways that obesity creates systemic inflammation. The first way is through secretion of cytokines known as adipokines, which are inflammatory. And the second way is due to macrophage activity, which creates an immune response in the body, which also is inflammatory. So white adipose tissue secretes a bunch of different chemicals and many of which are pro-inflammatory. These are the adipokines. You got uh, interleukin-6, you got tumor necrosis factor, and a few others. Uh, even leptin I saw uh, can lead to, by itself, to atherosclerosis. Maybe I'll get into that in a different, different video. So a lot of these are pro-inflammatory. And also, uh, as I mentioned the other day, obesity increases macrophage proliferation within the fat tissue. As the fat cells die, macrophages are sent to go clean up the mess, and those macrophages activate and recruit more macrophages. And that type of immune response is essentially the same thing as what you'd see when your body's fighting a bacterial infection. Except in the case of obesity, you know, the inflammation never goes away because you continue being obese unless you do something to uh, lose a lot of weight. So fat is an endocrine organ. It creates systemic inflammation in two ways, through the secretion of inflammatory adipokines and through the inflammation from an immune response due to macrophage proliferation. So that's it for now. Like and subscribe so you can make sure you watch every single episode I put out. And that's about it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.